Okay, we're looking at lesson 18, the solutions for it for surface area. Okay, so for the first one, um, we're not going to do any uh, net drawings. What we're going to do is we're just going to try to figure out how to get the surface area done nice and quick for us. So the way I like to do surface areas, identify, okay, this side and this side are going to be the same, and then I have four sides that I can label number two. So let's calculate the area of side one first. So area of side one is length times width, so it's going to be 11 times 14, and that's going to give me an area of 154. The area of side two is length times width, which is 26 times, and then so it's 26 down here, and then this up here is 11. So 26 times 11. And that's 286. And then to figure out what my total area is, well, all we need to do is just add everything up. So I have 2 of area number 1. So I'm going to take 2 times my area 1, which is 154. And then I have 4 of my area 2 is plus 4 times 286. So if I do that, 4 plus 2 times 154, I get a total area of 1,452 inches squared. Okay. For C, well, now if this is my area 1, I'm going to have 4 of those. And then I'm going to have two of those. So let's start with area one. It's length times width. So we have length times width. So 2.3 times 1.7. So that area is going to be uh, 3.91. Area two is 1.7 times 1.7. And that gives me 2.89. So same thing, just count up how many of each area we have. So our total area is going to be 4 times area 1, which is 3.91, plus 2 times 2.89. And that is going to give me a total of 21.42 meters squared. Okay, for two, so we have uh, four triangles. So we have four of those, and then we just have one of those on the bottom. So let's start with our base. So first thing we'll do is our length times our width, which is 18 times 18. And putting that into your calculator gives me 324. Okay, so that's the base. And then for our triangle, for our triangle, we get our formula is base times height divided by two. So we have a height of what looks to be uh, 22 here. And our base is 18. So we'll divide that by two. And that gives me 198. So to calculate this, we just add up all of our things. So our base, which is 324, plus our triangles, and we have four triangles, so four times 198. So 324 plus four times 198, and that gives me 1116 meters squared. Perfect. Uh, for C, so we're gonna do the same thing. So we have our base, and then we have our triangles. So for our base, we do area equals length times width. And we get 142. 42. And that gives me 20,164. Um, for our triangles, we get area equals base times height over 2. So 312 times 142. Divided by 2, let's get 312 and that will give me 22,152. So our total area there 
is our base, which is 20,164, plus 4 times the number of triangles we have, 22,152. And let's see what that gives us here. One zero eight seven seven two millimeters squared. Okay, um, so these are the exact same as the ones we did before. So nice and easy. We should be able to figure these out. So first one, we have our base. We have our triangle. So our base is length times width, which is ten times ten, which is a hundred. And then for our triangle, it's uh, base times height divided by 2. So it'll be 12 times 10 divided by 2, which is 60. So our total area will be our base, which is 100, plus 4 times the area of each of our triangles, since we have four of them, plus 4 times 60. And that ends up being 340 centimeters squared. OK, uh, for C. We have our base, we have our triangle up here. So for our base, we get an area of length times width, which is 22 times 22. And we do that, we get 484. Uh, for our triangle, we get an area of base times height divided by 2. So that's going to give me um, 60 times 22 over 2. So let's see what that gives me. 660. Good. So to calculate our total area, we take our base, 484, plus 4, because we have 4 triangles, times 660. And that is going to give me, let's see, uh, 3,124 meters squared. Okay. Now, we it's a little bit more complicated here. So we have our base, and then we have actually two different kinds of triangles. We have our skinny triangle here, which we will call T1, and there are two of those. And then here we have T2, and there's two of those, because it's a rectangle. So it's a little bit more complicated here. So we actually have to figure out three different areas for that. So first we'll start off with our base. And our base is just length times width, of course. So 48 times 14, and when we do that, 48 times 14, we get 672, perfect. And then for our triangle, let's do triangle one next. We're gonna get base times height divided by two. So that's gonna be 25 times 14 divided by two. And let's see what that gives us here. 175, and then for triangle two, area is going to be base height over two, like always, uh, but now it's a lot bigger. So instead of uh, 14, we're going to have uh, 48 times 25 divided by two, and that gives me 600. So to calculate the total area, we're going to take our base, 672 plus 2 times triangle 1, which was 175, plus 2 times triangle 2, which was 600. So let's do this math. So I end up with 2, 2, 2, 2. Good. OK, for C, we have a base, triangle 1, and then we have triangle 2. So the exact same thing. Our base area equals length times width, 16 times 12. So our base is 192. Triangle one, our area is base times height over two. So we have 12 times 10 over two, which is 60. Triangle two, our area is base times height over two. So now we have 16 times 10 over two. So that's 80. So our total area is going to be our base, which is 192, plus 2 times triangle 1, which is 60, plus 2 times triangle 2, which is 80. 
and let's do that mass with one. So we get an area of 472. Good stuff. Okay, um, for number five here. So five, we're gonna do five B. 5B is a good one. So here we have our base, and then we have our sides. Uh, so we'll call that just S for sides. So let's st first start with our base. So our base is a triangle here. And we're going to use area equals base times height over 2. 8 times 8 over 2, which gives us 32. And then our sides, so we're going to have three of those. And those are just rectangles. So it's two feet by eight inches and two feet. Um, we won't give you any uh, questions in feet, but this is actually 24 inches when you convert it. So it's uh, just length times width. And you get 24 times eight. And that's gonna give me 192. So our area for that is we have two bases, so two times 32, and we have three sides, so three times 192. And that gives us 640 inches squared. Perfect. For number two, we're gonna find the surface area of each cylinder, but we're gonna use our formula that we took a look at. And our formula, don't forget, area equals two pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. So that makes it nice and easy for us. Remember, our radius is always this half distance up here. So for the first one, we'll use our formula. Area equals 2 pi, and what's our r? It's 14 uh, times our h, and our h is 2.1 meters, or 210 centimeters, because we have to convert it. Multiply by 100, 2 pi r, and our r is 14 squared. So for me, it's always better to just do it in one line. It reduces the uh, chances of calculator errors. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Plus 2 times 2.14 times 14 squared. Okay. So I got an area of 19,694.1. And that would be centimeters squared. Okay, we're going to convert this two feet right away to 24 inches. And then we can do it again. So area equals 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. So 2 pi and our r is 14. Our h is 24 plus 2 pi and our r is 14. So let's put that into our calculators, 2.14, 2 Okay, and we get an area of 3340.96. Excellent. Okay, this 125 millimeters, we can change that. Um, to centimeters or we can change the centimeters to millimeters uh, doesn't really matter here but we'll change this to 12.5 centimeters here so we're going to use the same thing we have 2 pi r which is 12.5 times h which is 12 plus 2 pi r squared so 12.5 squared um, we'll go ahead and do that so And we get 1923.25. Perfect. And the last one here, two yards is actually six feet. You just multiply it by three. So we're going to have area equals two pi. And then we have r, which is three, times h, which is six, plus two pi r squared. So three squared. OK, 
Okay, you can use the pi key or you can use 3.14. Uh, it's not a big deal. Sorry, 2 pi 13. What did I write this? So this one ends up being 169.65. Squared. And that is it for that one.